Welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. Today, I want to show you how to change your bearings in your diffs. In the TRX4 here, uh, it's time for refresh. One of the first thing you'll need to do is remove your wheels for sure. Uh, and you'll need to remove your portals, rear portals. You will need a two mil. And you'll notice on your portals here on top there's a screw and the one here in the back it's the only ones that they're near the portals you'll need to remove those guys and it's going to be the same thing on the other side And if you are doing a refresh of bearings on your vehicle at the same time, it's going to be the best time to do the ones in the portals too. <coughs> this one's almost done. There we go. Now, once these are out, you'll be able to slide your the portals out. And you have both your portals in your hands. And you'll be able to remove the shafts. Now, on the rear shaft, and rear shaft, <laughs> rear diff, you'll notice there's one longer than the other one. That's because the pumpkin is offset. Now, if you try to put it, the longer one, this guy here, you'll notice it's a lot, a lot longer than the other one. They're not hard to mix. Put these guys aside. Now, we'll need to do, maybe easier for you guys to see if I flip it upside down. Now, what you need to do, to do, to do, woo, to do is remove the center shaft and you will need a 1.5 locate the screw and basically what I do I just push it take the shaft out of the way <clears throat> and now you will need to remove the links and the shocks Remove this screw, be able to pop the shock down. For the moment, I'll leave the, that link that way. You'll need to go on the other side and do the same thing. Remove that screw, pop that link. This one is being difficult and just push them away. Now you'll need to do the top link. Now, one of the things you've got to remember where goes where. The longer one, it's the top links. The lower one, the shorter ones are the lower links. Turn this like this. Now, you'll notice you cannot remove your physical rear diff because of the locking diff here, cable. You could, if you wanted to, go around, remove it from the servo and just unhook it if you wanted to. Personally, what I'm gonna do, leave it that way. Just four bolts here that you need to remove. That one did not want to leave the screwdriver. 
like I said, you could remove the cable if you wanted to. But I'll see how it goes here. I don't think I need to. I always try to remove less to be able to do something. That way there's less parts to put back. Now, give it a little bit of a love here to pop this, uh, this guy off. And you have your rear diff right here. Now, if the shaft removed, we should be able to slide everything out in one shot. Being careful for the locker right here. This is the rod that locks your diff, unlocks it. Now, if I go here and pop this guy out and just put it aside here, and this is your locker. Now we should, there we go, be able to remove this in one shot. And I'm just going to put it on the table this way, that way, nothing dismantles itself. Now, because we need to remove the pinion here in front. Put that here. To be able to have access to the two bearings. That one's popped. There she is. And what I'm going to do, same thing on the other side. There we go. And she's out. Now always make sure you don't damage this guy here. Or it fall off, falls off like this. Come on. There we go. Now what I'm going to do. Just put this aside. And find my... Here I have two sizes of bearing. Now I'm just going to go to my... There we go, right here. What I do when I grab my bearings, I always double check to make sure uh, this is a 613.5. Open my pack. And what I do to make sure I don't forget the size, I just grab the tag, put it in the bag itself. Put my that bearing aside here, close this again. Have the other bag. These are the same. This is 5114. Right here, grab the tag, put it in here. Now I'm going to re grab my case here. I'm just going to remove this. I'll put it back after. And it always is good to remember where it goes. Now the bigger guy, if I remember correctly, goes inside. Pop that one. And a smaller one goes outside right here. In case diff. And let's grab our pinion, put it back. Now leave that guy aside. What we're going to do here, move this aside. Grab this in one shot. Remove on one of our bearings here. Now, you'll need to remove the locker. Okay. Oh, sorry, guys. Remove the bearing here. You'll need to remove the locker here straight out. There is a pin side to side pin. 
remove that to be able to remove the other bearing there we go now there is a bearing on the other side that one I want to wait before going grab now we're going to open our pack of Traxxas that's 5102A that is the big bearing put that one back put the pin back grab our locker and put the locker back this guy here here is 5103A open that pack and slide the bearing on it now what are we going to do flip on the other side to remove this bearing here now that bearing is at 10 15 4 I do have a pack open here Grab right 10154. Pop it on it. Grab a complete diff assembly. Go back to our diff. Pop everything back in. Make sure everything turns well. Now we need to pop this back, this guy back in, and this is the, the way it goes. Now what we're going to do is, this is going to be a little bit more tricky. Because we need to realign, realign it with the cable. For some reason, it doesn't want to let me. There we go. Now, this is gonna be a little bit harder to show you guys on camera. When you're gonna remove this, I do suggest to really, really pay attention the way it's mounted. If you're not sure before removing it, take pictures. Take your camera, your phone, take multiple pictures. That way you'll see how this pin right here, all right, it's hard for you guys to see here, but there is a pin right here that's part of the cable. See how it sits, how this sits, and it'll be a lot easier. Now we'll be able to put our diff cover back Flip it. Let's move our old bearings out of the way. Grab our R4 screws. Pop them in. Grab our two mil. go screw these guys back in yep one last one here that could be a little bit faster if you use a drill 
If you do use a drill, just be careful when you get to the end not to strip the screw. And I just always go around and make sure they're snug. I'll put these aside. Bring the vehicle a little bit closer. <clears throat> now, if you remember again, these links here, where they go exactly? Upper, oh, sorry, upper, lower. <laughs> Mixing myself up. Now, our diff is upside down. I'm gonna start with this guy here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna insert the screw. That way, that link cannot come off. Then insert the other one. Sometimes the ball links will make you maybe, let's, how can I say this exactly, scream. Because when they're not aligned correctly, dude, they don't go in correctly. Like this one, what it's doing to me right now. Back off the screw a bit. Sometimes that can prevent you from going it in. Let's screw this guy in. There we go. If you do mix these guys here, you'll notice your diff is going to be like this. You'll build, you won't be able to put it straight. Now, got this guy. Bring our shock on top. Grab our screw. Bring it in. Basically, it's the opposite of what you did in the beginning. And once you did this side, you do the, you do the other side. Don't forget to put these back in. And you'll notice which side it goes by just physical pumpkin too, where it inserts. Don't forget that. And if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that bell notification in the corner here somewhere uh, to be notified when I upload videos. Thank you.